you everybody, Nisha here with Legacy of Light in conjunction with One Love Wellness Center here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Um, just coming to you for one of my 365 days from my heart to yours and I'm driving again today. Um, and just wanted to talk a little bit about the, you know, the blending, the balancing of the mind, body, spirit. Um, just over the last month. I've been focusing more on the, you know, my body aspect, just, you know, been working probably for the last, you know, year on my emotional eating and, like, coming to grips of when I was doing it and, like, you know, finally at times allowing myself to do it and, and not getting mad at myself that part of me needed to be appeased and you know finding ways to do it in a more health conscious way because you know over probably for the last four years I've been gluten and dairy free because my body wants me to and um, you know had struggled previously with, you know, sticking to that and just instead of being like, oh, like this will be fine, like I'll just deal with the pain or the, you know, the itchiness or the stuff that happens when I eat the gluten and dairy. <laughs> and finally just, um, you know, I'm not going to do that anymore and just finding other ways to know appease that part of me that likes to have this you know emotionally eat but then also dealing with those things that were causing it in the first place so it's been it's been a good it's been a good year you know coming to terms with these things and just you know accepting it and and being cool with it and I was just thinking this morning on my walk about you know how the, you know, the balance can sometimes be tricky at times, you know, because we have, we're focused on this goal, you know, like, oh, I'm focused on losing this weight, but then it's like, you know, the, the mind, body, spirit still need to be in balance, so I can't just, like, forget, you know, my meditation or forget to be heart-centered and just find a good balance between it all because as the way I see it like our spirit doesn't need anything like the only thing it needs so to speak is is for us to to balance our mind and our heart and to remember that this this heart connection that is we are and that's you know our spirit is having us go through these experiences so that we can remember who we are and find the balance in that also find the balance in the the brain and and the body and and the heart and to just allow ourselves to flow within our existence, within our creation, within what we're doing, and to, you know, as they, it's been said before, like, do everything in moderation, like, that's where it's good, and to find that, that good spot, so we're not, you know, neglecting one part because we're trying to fix the other part. So to find, you know, healthy, healthy balance for what works for you. And a lot of times when we just put that out to the universe, say these are, you know, these are the things I want to do. How can I accomplish this? Like things will come into your path. Opportunities. Like, you know, wisdom may just come to you like a knowing. And then you can look into to finding that, you know, that balance. 
mindset state where you're, you know, not so much in the spiritual realm or the etheric realm and not, you know, paying attention to the things that we came here to do. You know, there is a, there is an extreme on on all levels that you just need to keep yourself in check. You know, we still need to to function and experience life on Earth because that's what we came here to do. We didn't come here to like awaken and then be like, oh great, I don't have to deal with any of this stuff anymore. I don't have to experience it. I'm free. I'm done. I mean, you know, there's been days where I certainly wanted that to be the case. Because, you know, we go through times where things may seem more difficult than others, but that is not, that is not the point of all this. And so I was just thinking this morning, like, the point of all this is to, to find that, like, the balance, to find that sweet spot where I'm caring for my body, I'm caring for what I'm putting into my body, and then I'm also caring for my mind, and I'm caring for what I'm allowing to come into my mind. I'm caring for my heart. I'm doing the things that I desire for me so that I can then help others around me. Because it's, you know, the ongoing theme is you first. Like, Put your oxygen mask on first, or you can't help anyone else. So always, you know, yourself first. And, and once we start doing that, caring, you know, for the mind, body, and I would say heart, because, you know, as I said, like, our spirit is, is the perfection of us. So... to guide and help us remember that, that, that we are perfection and that all of this experience, everything that happens is for that remembrance of our perfection and for the remembrance that we have a choice because we are the creators. And, and being the creator, you can then look into what, what this balance looks like for you between your, you know, your mind, body, and your heart, so that you can come in alignment with your spirit.
experience. Like, allow yourself to have fiesta days, which are days that you just don't abide by it. You do. And eventually those days become in balance with the other days because you've just allowed yourself to do that. And then it doesn't become as, you know, it doesn't become such a big deal to then the days where you do have your fiesta days, you're like, oh, well, I, I would rather eat this. I would rather do this. And they do become less and less. So you can use that with, with anything. Not just, you know, dieting. It, it's like, you know, these patterns that we created. It's just breaking the patterns. So it may take some time to realize that you, you know, you're moving in a different direction and you're, you know, you no longer want to be in this pathway, in this pattern, and you're going to take another one. And you find the balance and what makes you the happiness, what makes you the most, what brings you the most joy. Because then when you find that spot, when you find that place, that will translate out into everything in your existence. Because you are the creator, so when you create that within yourself, it becomes your reality. So find your balance, find your sweet spot between all of this, you know, your mind, your body, your heart, and, you know, bring it in balance with your spirit. And just allow yourself the journey. whatever you want to do. 